what would you like to talk about today? Actually, uh, the main point came uh, by my mind. It's uh, if I'm not an Egyptian, if I'm a tourist in Egypt, what was the main thing that I like to do? Um, what I would like to visit? Uh, what I like to eat? Uh, where I like to stay? Where is um, the best place to live if I want to rent uh, an apartment or live uh, in a villa? Or, oh my uh, god, so many questions and so many everything. answers if, for it. If I'm not a, an Egyptian, if I'm a tourist here for mm -hmm. one month. Mm -hmm. uh, one month? Okay. Firstly, ha, ha, if I want to stay, uh, rent an apartment and uh, uh, live la like a local Egyptian, normal Egyptian, mm -hmm. how much money I'll spend in a month? How much money I need? Let's start step by step. Okay. First of all, you would like to come to Egypt. So you are going to, to make your own research. How you are going to make your own research? You are going to ask Google first. And then after asking Google, you will go to some specific websites such as TripAdvisor, Airbnb. And sometimes you are going to check some specific groups on Facebook for that uh, about the traveling to Egypt or the people who went to Egypt before. And most of the people, what they do about that, they check travel guide books such as Rough Guide and Blue Point, also Lonely Planet, the most popular travel guide book in all the world. Uh, why this big what? amount of adver adver advertisement? It's not about a uh, big, big amount of advertisement. This is the most popular. I know, I know. Everyone is using right now. Okay, I've seen all reviews and everything. And once I arrived to Egypt and started to ask, I want to rent an apartment. I found um, a very high uh, prices mm -hmm. and in a places that I don't like. For example, they are recommending something in the sixth of October city in Zaid. Mm -hmm. uh, but I need something more closer. To the uh, city center? No, not city center. That uh, hustle and bustle in an area not, not far away from what the city cent city stars, for example. I so most of the expats who stay in Egypt, they stay. Where do they stay? They stay to be specific. Some of them stay in the Malik. Some others stay in Maadi. Yes, for example, I need Maadi, the Malik. Munira. Okay. Uh, sometimes they stay in Nasri city. But Why not? You, okay. uh, so, uh, Maadi and Zamalek, somehow it's, let's say, it's a bit expensive for some of the expats. Some okay. others, they choose Munira. Munira, it's between Garden City yeah. and, so it's, let's say, it's somehow average. Okay, you didn't tell me uh, mm -hmm. what are the cost of one month of staying in this package. Depending on where do you stay and the place I've itself, what, where what, I want kind to stay. Of, what kind of facilities you would you would like it to be uh, I like need a, a big shopping mall this mm -hmm. is uh, the main thing uh, I need it to be closer to the metro for example because in all big cities mm -hmm. uh, you want to use the metro to to cover the whole city mm -hmm. uh, not so far away from the train station mm -hmm. uh, the bus uh, station as well your what best else? option is uh, Munira I think Maedi it's, or Zamalek Munira or Maedi uh, close to the metro keep in mind because uh, i don't want to spend like one thousand dollars per month for rental because you they are, are going to spend that they, um, a lot of uh, how you can say? rent a room for like four thousand egyptian pound which is about like uh, two hundred four thousand egyptian pound which is equivalent of like almost 300 us dollars at most including facilities such as no, no, six, 600 1000 uh, 4, 4, Egyptian pounds oh, for, you for are renting a room you are sharing a room in an apartment you are not renting no I need a studio I need an apartment for me so that yeah, local are, that locals can rent I know that locals can rent something like that for only 4000 uh, Egyptian pounds but you will uh, not find everything inside it Okay, for, for example, I want to live in Madinti or in Rehab. Madinti, it's something else. You're okay, talking uh, about we, another category. Okay, I don't want to waste much time in uh, in, in living in living place. Okay? okay, let's keep it aside and 
step uh, uh, forward to the next point. Okay. The next step, just where um, to go? How much I will pay for a delicious Egyptian food monthly? I want to try uh, all different types of shawarma. I want to try different types of kebab. I want to try different types of uh, full and falafel. Mm -hmm. I want to try the hummus. I want to try mulohia. Mm -hmm. I want to try all these those types within one month. If I want to try all of this and eat all of this and kaware and whatever. The meal is starting from. How much I will spend? The meal is starting from one US dollar to like 100 US Monthly, dollar. Monthly, man, man, please. I'm talking about one meal. Okay. Monthly, it's depending on where do you go. I've told uh, you uh, everywhere. Where, where, everywhere so it depends that's why i'm telling you the average starting from one dollar to uh, almost 100 us dollar per one meal and you can count count it okay let's make it like this mm -hmm. if we made the month it's three categories mm -hmm. the first one is local food or street food mm -hmm. that is not uh, uh, expensive below the 50 pounds per day mm -hmm. okay this is for 10 days you can buy like three sandwiches, full falafel and uh, uh, French fries for like 10 pounds. This one meal. This is the breakfast. Okay, this, no, okay. no, I mean per day 50 pounds. It's very I, I counted for you the first meal. So, so 500, pounds. 500 pounds for 10 days, okay? Okay. The uh, first meal is like three sandwiches, 10 I pounds. Don't, I don't believe the 50 pounds is enough. Because no, enough. at night, at, the, at dinner, I want to eat something like... Um, um, Romano cheese and uh, uh, what else? This is a uh, luncheon or how how do we call it? Luncheon, I think. This this meat. Pastrami? No, no, not pasta. Anyway, uh, this beef or uh, um, what else? Like uh, torshi. This is a, a pickles. pickles. Uh, this pickles. pickles. Okay. Called torshi. Or a, in, in Turkish they say turşu. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to try also what else. All locals, all local things. I, I think it's 100 pounds per day. So one, uh, 10 the, days is the, the 1,000 pounds. Okay, the second Se meal second meal is like uh, consists of rice, like a quarter of a chicken, uh, fried chicken with uh, some kind of vegetable. This is mid-range. Okay. This is the second part, of, uh, second category in the, in the month. Okay. Second. 10 days in the month, I will eat this meat range. Okay. Uh, Meatballs and meat bowls chickens. And chickens uh, some kind of uh, cooked vegetables with uh, tomato sauce and garlic, onion, uh, with, ri with rice. Also, you can Egg have uh, uh, bread, two leaves of bread. Egg and this is going and to cost you around, like, around, 50, uh, around 50 pounds. And the maximum is 100. 20. I want to For try this. the bamia, lubia, yeah, yeah, okra. Yeah, yeah, you can try the okra or the ladyfinger as we call it, or as you said, bamia in Lady the Egyptian Arabic. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, this was the second meal. The third meal you can maybe try one leaf of hawaushi, it's meat love, or also you can uh, try kosheri. Hawaushi is uh, or kosheri. It's local or mid range? Now it's, it's, uh, it's a local. Okay, or budget, budget. Let's budget, call it budget. Uh, budget. Okay, budget yeah. is first ten days. And now we are talking Look. about like mid range. Those, it's about one hundred. Uh, like also, day. I want to try the shawarma. Maybe second, the budget is uh, maybe one thousand to two thousand pounds for first ten days. Second ten days, we'll spend like uh, ten times this amount for mid range. <laughs> I, I believe that I will spend like not like uh, you can go to the not kebab, less than two, houses or 250, like, houses like 250 pounds per day minimum mm -hmm. or 300 per day to eat what you are talking about in three course meals okay uh, so uh, for the third category of third the month the this is luxurious or shrimps fried shrimps kebab and uh, this is starting from 160 uh, famous uh, restaurants and like this do you like to have some names for those famous restaurants some names no no okay. i don't need names okay. just the, the price we are talking about the, the how much i will spend on this okay second second part i i i believe that 
I will spend like uh, four, like four thousand, something like that. Mm. Four and two, six Where to thousand. Go? Where to go? No, the third, third uh, part of this month. How much I spent for food? You said about luxurious 30. restaurants. Luxurious is the thirty, <laughs> one thousand pounds per day. So it means thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, too much. Okay, okay. thirty plus six, so thirty-six thousand pounds only for food for one month in Egypt to try everything. Okay, this for food and for uh, rental. I, I I need to pay. I want to pay only four or five thousand. Okay, this five thousand thousand uh, after the, uh, and thirty six is forty one now. Okay, the third part, sightseeing. How much I will pay in one month to see the most important things? I don't. I'm not that person that need to see all museums. Although in Egypt uh, there is Egyptian not museum? not a, a lot of museums. Like yeah, in Egypt, how, how many a... museums in Cairo, for example? We the have, main we one. have Museum of Islamic Art, we have I the Egyptian it, yeah. Museum in Tahrir Square, sure. we have the Military Museum in uh, Cairo Citadel, mm -hmm. uh, National Military Museum, and also we have the National uh, Police Museum. And the, the new museum in uh, the new museum? In Haram. No. We have the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization, or what we call the Museum of Fustat, which is uh, the one that has uh, royal mummies that we moved it. Uh, Third of April, uh, third of last April. Where is located? It's located in Fustat, nearby Coptic Cairo. Okay, what about the, the new museum? The Grand Egyptian Museum, or as we call it, Shem, it's not open yet. We not didn't really. make the inauguration yet, and we didn't move all the items of the collection of King Tut. Okay, this is about museums. Uh, okay. How much I will spend as as a foreigner? Each one of it has a different ticket. Than the other, but the for foreigners, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But the average of the ticket is about 200 Egyptian pounds. 200 Egyptian pounds per ticket, so like uh, 1000 pounds only for museums. For museums, so what about the rest of sightseeing? Can uh, I go Egyptian, to the, the Giza pyramids? Giza pyramids, you pay if you are going only to the area itself of the Giza pyramids. You are going to pay 200. If you are going to see everything inside the Giza pyramids, you pay 600 Egyptian pounds as as a ticket for what to go inside the area and to go inside the Great Pyramid itself. And yes, if you I'll would like to go inside the small pyramids, you can go uh, inside the small pyramids. As what well. about the tunnel or the cave inside the pyramid to see the mummies or treasures, something like that? What what the name of it? This this tunnel inside the the, the or hole or cave you inside mean the, the main pyramid. You mean the corridor Is inside the, the, the grand gallery and the... the it was separate, the separate ticket, as It's I a remember. separate ticket. That's why I said the, 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 the big ticket, which is the, the, the one that has all the area. Mm -hmm. We call it the combined ticket, which is uh, 600 Egyptian pounds for the Giza sightseeing. There is another sightseeing, which is Saqqara, which it has the oldest pyramid that we made out of stone or the oldest structure structure in all the world that made out of stone the step pyramid or uh, uh, Zosar pyramid or Jesser pyramid uh, if you are going to visit the area itself it's 180 Egyptian pounds but if you would like to visit the wall complex uh, and see a lot of other things such as the Serapium uh, also uh, the, the new kingdom Tombs, uh, also some other tombs, uh, uh, including uh, Imhotep Museum, you are going to pay like 450 Egyptian pounds. So let's and say you, are going, you can spend like one day for Giza pyramids and Saqqara mm -hmm. alone. Okay. okay uh, in there this, is another pyramid this, to visit. In this average, I I am counting in my mind. I I, I guess that uh, it will cost me not less than 10 thousand pounds Egyptian pounds for all sightseeing this is only for museums so what about the rest of things to have a cruise in the Nile to have uh, a visit to Alexandria or uh, to, 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 to what the name of uh, Siva 
Siwa, uh, Siwa, Oasis. Siwa Oasis, yeah. Siwa Oasis, and even Luxor and Aswan. No, it's um, too far, far away. away. Yeah, too far away. And counting lots of money. You can go money. to Alexandria and spend one day there. But Siwa, if you are going to Siwa, Siwa, you are going to spend like half a day going to Siwa, and then like you can spend there like three days, and then coming back, taking like half day to come back. On your way to Siwa, maybe you can go to visit Alexandria, and after you finish Alexandria, you continue your traveling to Siwa. Okay, so all in all, I guess. Okay, after all counting all, everything, depending, it's on, like one hundred thousand. No, no, no. It, no, no, no. It depending it, for it, living as um, as what as a YouTuber. Let, let as me a YouTuber. make it crystal clear to you and to everyone who's watching us. It depends on your budget and how much time do you have. It's not about one month. Like, I'm talking about one about month one budget. Month, you are not going to do all of those things because not everyone I is interested in. I want to do it. Yeah, I not want everyone to do is interested in do and all of those things. And also, I'm you talking can about do, myself. Uh, I want to do it. I want. <laughs> I want to live like Egyptians, uh, but at the same time, I, I want, can't believe you. <laughs> I want to be a tourist at the, at the same time. Uh -huh. I'm doing the same, uh, by the way, in. Uh, each city I'm visiting, every mm -hmm. capital, mm -hmm. I'm trying to live the same way, mm -hmm. to spend m money on the things that is much useful, mm -hmm. and to try to live like locals mm -hmm. and eat what they are eating, and trying as well the things that uh, most uh, speciality or most famous in this place or this country. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I want to, I don't want to pay much. I will not eat luxurious food every day. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, thank you for that being was what we told you so thank far and we can keep going in another video inshallah okay thank you for information and uh, thank you for watching uh, see you in next uh, episodes inshallah inshallah subhanakallah thank you for watching everybody see you, see you. goodbye goodbye